Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kirsten and we are going to learn how to make this beautiful cowhide Yeti today. So I already have a white Yeti tumbler and what I'm going to do first is start off by taping the bottom off. We're taping the bottom off to prevent any cracking if a customer happens to drop their tumbler. This is just an extra precaution that I like to do. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that stainless steel exposed so I make sure I have a nice good seal on my epoxy. And then I'm just going to press down that tape to ensure that it just doesn't get in the way when we glitter or epoxy. Then I'm going to do the same thing up at the top rim, leaving a little bit of that stainless steel exposed to make sure we get a nice seal on our epoxy. We just wanna make sure that we're not going to feel any glitter or that we're going to lose the seal to prevent any moisture from getting down into our tumbler and causing mold. I'm trying to get a nice consistent ring all the way around the top of the tumbler just to make sure it looks nice and aesthetically pleasing. We don't want to have any rough edges or that line of epoxy being uneven because you still will be able to see that epoxy rim on the top and bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I laid over a piece of painter's tape. The customer did ask for the Yeti to be seen and You'll see me with an X-Acto knife, just carefully going over each and every letter. This is just to, again, expose the Yeti that's underneath that is stainless steel. Now to hear my glitter, I found what works best for cowhide spots is Mod Podge. When you use Mod Podge to apply your glitter, it helps make your glitter stand up as opposed to the epoxy method, which kind of lays your glitter down a little bit flat. So I'm going in with a nice generous amount of Mod Podge, just making sure I cover the whole cup, but not to touch the metal exposed areas on the top and bottom, just because we want to make sure we have a nice clean area for the epoxy to stick to. It is very important to make sure that your entire cup is nice and evenly coated with Mod Podge or you will see every single little stroke you do. So you'll see me go over a couple times just to make sure, making sure my brush is going a couple different ways because we do not want to see brush strokes when we apply the glitter onto the tumbler. Again, you can see me being very careful around that silver edge. And I actually do go in and clean it up just a little bit because I did notice I got some Mod Podge on the silver. Now I'm going in with Chantilly Lace by Create by Firefly. This is an exclusive mix by Mel, the owner of Create by Firefly. She has mixed a few different glitters to get this fantastic color. As you can see, it has a bunch of holographic shifts in it. I really love using a holographic mix for my cowhides just because when I go and put my inks on, it's not going to pull a green or a weird blue color when I put my inks on. Now I'm going in with Mantilla Black by Pinata. And what I like to do is use these needle nose bottles to go in and applicate my inks just because I have a little bit more control. For me personally, I always like starting at the bottom and kind of, kind of making a triangle shape. Um, you, When you see real cows, you don't really see them with round spots like you do usually. So I kind of always go in, make a little squiggly line, and try and get a more natural shape. And when you apply ink to glitter, it does kind of spider out and expand and give you more of that natural shape that you're looking for for a cowhide. 
the more natural, the better when it does come to these tumblers, at least to my style cowhide. So as you can see, I'm gonna go and make some shapes. And now the hardest part about these cow highs is not making the spots look inappropriate. I can't tell you how many times I've had to go in and retouch up spots because they do not look the best. Now what you can see me doing here is I am adding a few what I call sprinkles. This is just to help kind of fill in those little blank spaces that were there but more in a more natural sporadic way. You can see me going in here now with Burrow Brown from Pinata. This is a nice deep brownish red color and I think it just works perfectly for these cowhides. Of course you can always go with the lighter brown. This is just my preference for this. You can find both the Mantilla Black and Burrow Brown. You can find both of these inks in my Amazon storefront that I will be posting in the description down below. You can see me also going in and outlining or adding a few little spots here and there around the black. That just helps it give it a more little bit more depth. I let the ink sit about 30 to 45 minutes and then I go in and apply. Oh, this is my favorite part. We're gonna go in with our tweezers from CC DIY. We're just going to remove that painter's tape from the Yeti symbol. It's probably the most satisfying thing of this video is seeing that being taken off. Now I went in with the painter's tape as opposed to going on my Cricut and cutting out each individual letter just because there was an indent here and I thought it would be easier to just go in with an X-Acto knife and cut it myself. Also, you're not really supposed to take company logos and it would be harder to size it down to the correct size to get the Yeti exactly perfect. So I thought this was going to be the most perfect way to do it. As you can see here, that Chantilly glitter is gorgeous. My black is black, my brown is brown. We don't have any weird green going on. So I know this epoxy looks super cloudy, but don't worry, it's just Speedy PD from DIY Epoxy. You have to mix the crap out of it because it is a super thick FASA epoxy. But once you get it on the turner, you take your torch to it, all of those bubbles come out and it is perfect um, mine usually dries within an hour where it's touchable and I can sand it a little bit to put our next layer of epoxy on but look at that glitter guys so freaking pretty so I'm just gonna make sure I coat my entire tumbler make not missing any spots going all the way up to that painters tape as well to make sure we get a nice clean line with speedy pd being such a nice thick epoxy you really want to make sure that you're spreading it nice and evenly over your entire coat we don't want any too big globs of epoxy rolling around just because it can trap bubbles in your epoxy and we don't want any bubbles in our tumbler we also want to make sure we don't have too much where it can cause a little bit of rippling as it turns on your turner. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I cannot wait to see your take on this cowhide tumbler.